Uh, welcome back. Um, in this new video, uh, I'm going to be doing something that uh, will be worth your while uh, because this is going to be the introduction to the um, master page because um, master page is a very very important concept you want your application, you want your website, your web application um, I'm going to be using website and website web application interchangeably uh, normally the website is supposed to mean a static website you know any only way everything is a website but web application just makes it looks more cool isn't it like yeah I'm creating web, web application so it looks like yeah the yeah, master yeah, to be honest, it's, a, it's an application because you have to write a lot of C sharp code. It's not just a basic HTML CSS. So that's why we call it web application because it's dynamic. We have uh, um, interaction, user interaction, like uh, you know, database. We have a form to collect um, uh, user input. Anyway, let us get too much into the details. So I can, I'm going to be using database. I'm sorry. <coughs> website and web application interchangeably so uh, anyway you want your application to have the same you want all your pages to have the same look same feel same color scheme you want them to look very beautiful so what you want to do is you want to create a master page <coughs> and in order to create a master page um, it is ideal to delete the previous page to have that's why you should if you know you're going to be creating a master page you must prevent you must do the master page from the beginning the reason why is because the pages that you'll be creating we have to inherit all the features from the master page and don't get me wrong if you have a thousand pages it doesn't mean you will have to delete all the <laughs> 1000 pages before you can inherit from the uh, master page you can actually you know write a small code at the top here and you'll be able to inherit from the master page so but um, to actually explain what I'm doing to you easier I'm going to delete the pages so once all the pages once I don't have any page then I'm going to add a new item which is going to be the master page I'm going to leave the name as the master page dot master I can place the code in a separate file which I've already explained to you and I can select a master page the reason why I can also select a master page for a master page is because it's, it is possible to have a nested master pages it's possible for a master page to inherit from a master page don't worry everything will be but because I don't have any master page in place anyway so there's no point for me to select anything so I can place the code in a separate file which I always like to do and I can just add my master page <coughs> so now we have our master page added let's go to the design view what do you see <coughs> <coughs> you see this is the content placeholder this is what I was talking to you about earlier on so this content placeholder is where the content for all for all your web pages will be placed don't have to understand it I'll show you what I mean so what I usually do is for me to actually do the layout of my page the layout the uh, header the footer the you know side navigation I usually like to just make this place empty by just deleting this content place order so it's asking if you want to remove this region you will break any attached pages that provide custom content for it are you sure you want to continue yes it's my choice right so now what do we do let's create um, a it's a 3 by 3 table inside a div tag let me do 3 by 3 let me see what that looks like uh, let's do ok ok that's what I want to do um, <coughs> that's going to be my page I'm going to have my uh, hold on come on yep I want to have my header as such I want to have my footer such I want to have my side navigation and this one really really tiny 
so just like in normal basic you can select this whole three roads and just um, <coughs> modify and match the cells to join the cells together you can follow me along and do the same thing select the three right click on it modify match cells uh, <coughs> so what do we do this is going to be our header so we write header this is the header area you know we can make it as big as we want and change the color if we want you know we can centralize this justify it to the center this is also going to be our footer uh, if you're very good in C uh, CSS, cascading style sheet, this is where you shine. It's just for center bold, that's our footer, and this is the navigation area. So, now, so that means all the website that will be creating henceforth we have this look and feel. So, now what we do is we let's add our first page, add a new item. And I want to add a web form, remember? And because we don't have a default.aspx, it automatically detects that and it chooses it for us default.aspx. Now, I usually place the code in separate file, like I explained. And now, because I have a master page, I can select a master page. If I click on add, it's going to give us an option one master page. That's the only master page we have. We OK that. And now, look at what we have. Look at what we have. So, if you run our application, look at what we get. This is what we get. I think you understand why we get this. This is now what our default ASPX looks like. Can you see? Now let's make it colorful so that we can see it properly. Let's go back to the master page. Let's make the top. Let's change the background color of that to that light, ye light, ye light yellow the right navigation let's make that background color let's make that lighter a little bit light you know same and the footer a little bit deeper background color uh, if you know your C sharp if you know your CSS you will shine you will really really shine here and the background color uh, here let's make it the same as the rest like that okay so can you see so now if we run our application we should get it more nicer and more beautiful <laughs> even though it's not well done but you get the idea <coughs> so this is now what your actually let me go to default the SPX and run that because the previous one that you saw was uh, my master but yeah this is our default door ASPX as you can see so this is what the website will looks like so any website that let me show you any other website that I create from here had new item if I had another page another web form and this page too you will have the same look and feel I want to place in a separate file and I want to select a master page if I click on add I select that master page it's okay so now this is our page 2 the aspx if i run that every time i click on that play button it actually runs the file that you currently work on can you see that's your page 2 it has the same look and feel so now you get the idea of what a master page is all about <coughs> so i'll come back to continue with this video <coughs>